If you are struggling with how to choose a price for your coaching programs, then you are going to love this video. If you're wondering how to price your services as a coach, and this issue is causing you a lot of confusion and frustration, then keep watching because I am here to help. If you're new to me, I'm Kim Foster. I'm an MD turned wellness coach, a business mentor to my fellow health and wellness coaches, and also the founder of the Wellness Coach Academy, an online training school for coaches. Now, I have worked with hundreds of coaches at this point, and I know that pricing causes a ton of stress and a ton of confusion, especially in the beginning. You really have no idea what to charge. So today, I'm going to give you some concrete tips to help you charge the right price for your programs and services right out of the gate. And I'm going to give you the real talk. I'm giving you the actual prices that some of my clients are charging for their coaching programs because I want you to know Know what's happening out there and I want to take the guesswork out of it for you. Now before we get into all of that, I just want to mention my free guide to help you price your programs. It's a complete guide and workbook that I put together to walk you through the process of pricing your signature health coaching program and you can download it for free by following the link in the description box. Okay, that said, let's dive in. So let's talk about how to pick the perfect price for your programs. So the you never struggle to sell your services and you never struggle to make enough money in your business. The first thing that you want to consider is the value of your coaching program. So many new coaches make the mistake of thinking that they should be charging by the hour. They set their prices based on the amount of time a client gets with them or maybe for the number of workbooks and videos and other stuff that you're giving to your client. But that is a big mistake. You don't want your clients to assess your value strictly based on how many hours or how much stuff you give them. Instead, you want them to value you based on the results and the outcome that you're going to get for them. Now, those results can be tangible or intangible or both, but the best kinds of outcomes are very specific, highly desirable outcomes. So some examples of tangible, measurable, specific outcomes are reduced medical expenses, reduced legal expenses, increased sales or a better career or a high paying job. Examples of intangible outcomes are things like more joy or happiness or a longer life or better relationship. But be cautious with these kinds of outcomes. You really don't want to leave them in this you know, vague territory of more happiness and instead translate it into something specific like never dreading Monday again or something like that. I recommend that you make a long list of the exact outcomes and all the tangible and intangible benefits that your clients will experience by working with you and that is what you're charging for. The second thing you want to look at is the value of your time and how much time you are actually investing in your program. Now, although the results and the outcomes are the most important thing to focus on, your time does play a role in how much you'll charge because time is limited. We only have so much time in our day. So I want you to look at how many hours of your precious time you are actually investing in this coaching program, including your one-to-one -one sessions, Q&A calls, responding to email, responding to social media messages, maybe personalized reviews, and all the things that you are putting into your coaching that take up your time. Time. And of course, a six week program will be at a lower price typically than a six month program. So all of those things need to be factored in. The third thing to consider is what will the market bear? Essentially, what are the going rates? What are your competitors charging? What is even possible in the coaching marketplace? Now, I want to mention a caveat here. While I do want you to be aware of what's going on in the marketplace, I mean, it's important to have an awareness. I also want to caution you against taking on other people's money stories. Meaning, if you see a competitor charging a certain amount for her program and you think it sounds kind of low, but you think, oh, well, that's what the going rate is, so that's what I have to charge also just to stay competitive, I don't want you to do that. Remember that undercharging is very common in the health and wellness space especially. And you really have no idea what money stories and money mindset issues led that particular competitor to set her prices. But you can't take that on. If you allow her pricing threshold to dictate what you charge, 
then that means you are being dictated by her mindset around money. So as I actually talk about real numbers here, I want you to remember that you get to set your rates and you do not have to adhere to what other people are doing. If you want to set your prices far above the numbers that you're seeing out there, then as long as you like your reasons for doing it, then I say go for it. Okay, so with that said, in the beginning of this video, I promised to give you some actual benchmarks. So here we go. Let's talk about what my clients are actually charging for their health and wellness coaching programs. So for my clients who are brand new uh, health and wellness coaches, they're right at the beginning. What I usually encourage them to do is set their prices as close to a premium range as possible. So at the time of recording this for a 90 day program, that's a private program with weekly coaching sessions, for example, I suggest a starting price anywhere from 1000 to 3000. Some of my clients who are brand new to coaching, they have actually set their prices at 2,500 and even 3,500 for a 90 day program or much more than that for a six month program and they have enrolled clients at those rates. Now, of course, this is just a benchmark. It's really going to depend on lots of factors and it's something that I work closely with my clients and students to figure out their own sweet spot pricing. Now, for my clients who are more experienced coaches, again, I strongly encourage them to push their prices into that premium range and we'll talk about why in just a minute, but when you are, you know, perhaps an intermediate or a more seasoned coach, you can command rates anywhere from $4,000 for a 90 day program up to six or seven or 8K or more. Truly, the more experienced and in demand you become as a coach, the higher you can command. And again, there are lots of individual variables like your niche, your industry, your specific outcomes and things like that. Now, the fourth thing to consider is really giving yourself permission to charge your worth and specifically to charge premium rates. So let's talk a little bit more about why it's actually good for you and your clients to charge premium rates. I believe that coaching is a field that is highly influenced by pricing psychology. So perceived value means that when people see a higher price point, they automatically believe that that product or service is better that it's more effective or it will work better. And this applies to your coaching services. So if you think about this for yourself, you've probably experienced this effect. Let's say that you're shopping for a new appliance, like a coffee maker. You look at the prices and one model is priced at $30. And then you see another coffee machine that's priced at $300. You will naturally assume that the coffee maker that is $300 is a higher quality. It's maybe better made. It will do a better job of giving you a really great cup of coffee in the morning and maybe it'll last longer, right? Your clients will have the same sort of pricing philosophy in mind when they are looking at you and your pricing and when they compare you to your competitors. So in most situations, you want to go out there with a premium price. You will be able to benefit from this phenomenon, of course, but the thing is, your clients will benefit too. When you actually position yourself as an expert and a high-end provider in the industry, not only will clients take you more seriously, they will also get better results because they will be more committed if they have more skin in the game. When you're charging low prices, you may actually end up with clients who are less committed. And it's not just a perception thing. It plays out in reality too, because when you charge lower prices, you will end up having to take on way more clients just to meet your income goals, which means more people on your schedule and less time for you in your own life, plus less time for each client. So with more clients, you have much less time to dedicate to each client and your quality of service might actually decline. So all of that is why I definitely recommend that you go higher with your pricing because it's not only going to help you earn more, but it will also help you to provide higher quality services to your clients. Okay, so let's just recap the four things to consider when it comes to pricing your program. One is the value of your program. Two is the amount of time that it will take you to deliver. Three is what the market will bear. And I gave you some benchmark prices from my own clients. And then four is the importance of adopting a premium pricing strategy. So I hope that this helped clear up the highly confusing topic of how to price your coaching packages and how to charge your worth so that you can earn a great income 
doing something that you absolutely love. If you've now got like a ballpark idea of how you want to price your program, but you would love a little more specific guidance and to actually make the decision and set your price structures, then you are definitely going to want to download my comprehensive pricing guide. It's a free download and it walks you through the decision making process of finally choosing the right price for your program. And you can grab it by following the link in the description box below. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video and what I've got for you in terms of how to price your programs as a health or wellness coach. And now I would love to hear from you. Have you decided on the pricing for your program? Are you struggling with adopting a premium pricing strategy? Let me know your thoughts and questions below in the comments and you know, let's have a conversation about it. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it when I upload new videos. Take care and I will talk to you again soon.